Uh, a lot of... Definitely Samsung. I recognize Samsung because I've been using them so heavily. Going to be a lot of Samsung and some of these. Oh, that's a different type of connector on top. I don't know what these are. That's weird. It looks like the same, but this has got some weird metal thing on top. This is going to be easy to use because it's got wires. Two plus wires, two negative wires, and probably two thermal sense wires. So, uh, 4.35 volts, uh, nominal 3.8 at uh, 3.2 amp hours, 12 watt hours. Well, well, let's dig them out and see what we got. There's a lot of these in this box. I have to start another pile of them. And oh wow, a lot of Amazon Basics. Or Amazon Kindle, I should say. Oh wow, this is going to be a lot of Amazon Kindle batteries. It's getting darker in the house, but you can see I've doubled this row of batteries. I've extended this to three three taller stacks, and I've got four stacks of these. Um, nice batch of blues. I got some more of these here, and some more Samsungs. Now I'm guessing I'm coming to the end of the Samsung batteries. Uh, I'm just guessing from battery hookup. Because my last boxes were had more Samsung batteries than anything. And now this looks to be pretty much the tail end. Um, over here, now it looks like it's going to be Amazon batteries. I've got one more box to open. I'm going to get it up higher so I don't have to lean over as much. And we'll see what's in there. Looking good so far, though. Got the peanuts off and the last box opened here. Uh, looks like it's going to be uh, another batch of Amazon Kindle and Samsungs. Sadly, these Samsung ones, a lot of them are bent. Some look like they'll be okay, but a lot are bent. So uh, we'll see how that works out. I won't put any, any these like there's a bundle that's all good. I won't put any bent batteries in any devices that are going to be sensitive or that, you know, if they burn up, it's going to hurt anything. So uh, we'll see what I end up with when I'm done. There's a big stack of Samsung. Look at that. There's a big batch of Samsung batteries. These seem to be decent. What do we got here? Um, it's hard to read these. 30 something, 3800 milliamp hours or something like that. 4000 milliamp hours. Yeah, well, good. I can add them to my main battery bank. So I'm going to have a behemoth battery bank inside the uh, garage with Samsung batteries when I'm done. That's 4000s. Any 4,000s I'll put together and make a ginormous battery bank. There's another big, weird flat one. Uh, 4,440 milliamp hours. 4.4 amp hours. Look at that. It's so flat. Convenient. I got a mess of these too. Not a lot, but I got some in there. 
I gotta reach in front of the camera, so I'm gonna continue sorting. You've seen all of these already before. It looks like more of the same. But we'll get this box opened up and we'll see. That's a nice looking battery though. Really nice. Got some more of these. These got wires on them, so I like them. These are uh 3200 milliamp hours. They got two ratings on these. 4.35 volts. 3200 milliamp hours at 3.8 volts. Definitely I'll be able to use them for something. Because I got the wires. They're so convenient. Got a lot more of these Kindle batteries. There's some more Samsungs in here. That's, that's a decent amount of Samsungs though. I mean these are um these will be able to go into my big power wall. It'll help power my workshop, which is going to be off the grid, mostly powered by Samsung batteries from Battery Hookup. I am loving it. Quite a few of these flat black ones in here too in this batch. In this box. Look at all these. I'm going to run out of room for these. That's a lot. If some of these turn out good, which I'm guessing that most of them are, I might be able to sell some. I don't know. I'm guessing that uh, a lot of these are going to be good. In my experience so far with the Samsung batteries, anyway, the uh, I think they were never sold. The devices were probably never sold, and then they took the batteries out and recycled them. And what else is the manufacturer going to do? Just get rid of them. Probably end of cycle or end of life for the device. And uh, I know that on Battery Hookup they have some Amazon Ring batteries that they absolutely said they were never cycled they were um, or not many cycles they said it was an example that the uh, end of the device came around before they were all sold some were slightly used I know I'm not right, saying the right words perfectly but something like that basically they're all turning out pretty good I bought some and they're like new actually so I'm guessing a lot of these are gonna be the same story I can't wait to charge some of these up now these ones I'm not gonna to try to modify them I'm gonna come up with a way to uh, I'm gonna come up with a spring-loaded charger and figure out oh it's labeled conveniently plus and minus I'm gonna come up with some kind of a spring-loaded contact to charge these up with so that I don't have to modify the battery packs at all. I'm going to make a charger, basically, for all these. It's a lot. It's a lot of batteries. I want to do a rough estimation when I get these done of how much power I have. These are smaller. They're, they're 1,500 milliamp hours, so they're not as powerful. Yeah, 1,500 milliamp hours, but there sure is a lot of them. So where they lack in power, they make up for in quantity in these boxes. Well, I'll continue on and we'll get to the bottom of this box and see what we got overall. Well, guys, uh, 120 pounds of lithium ion batteries looks like that. So there's 120 pounds, about $100, roughly comes out to $100. And last time I got 10 kilowatt hours of batteries. I'm going to do an estimate here, but where on earth can you get 10 kilowatt hours of batteries for $100? That comes out to $10 a kilowatt hour. You, you just can't touch that. 
Now, granted, there's going to be work involved. I've got to sort through these, test them, and figure out how to use them because they all got different leads and connectors. But for a do it yourself for $10 for a kilowatt hour of batteries is unbeatable and worth the work. Very much worth the work. So I'm going to do some math here a little bit. So let's see what we got. Just a rough idea. So of these ones here, the white Kindle batteries, I have 420 of them. And it comes to about 2.3 kilowatt hours of batteries right there. Just those white ones. Now I'm going to figure out the uh, these other ones here. The majority of the power is going to be in these these silver packs, in the blue, in the black row, and yeah, there's some there. I'll do a rough estimation here what we got. So I got about six or seven kilowatt hours of batteries here. I've got 2.3 kilowatts here. There's about a kilowatt. There's a kilowatt. There's about a kilowatt. A um, couple of kilowatt here. I roughly estimate, I think I stopped counting around 6 and then I estimated probably about 7 with all the odds and ends. So, decent haul. Not the 10 kilowatt like I had with the Samsung batteries. These are not as en energy dense, the uh, Amazon, for their weight as the Samsungs were, but still a pretty good haul. And I realize I've got to do a lot of work because I have to take, let me, hold, let me grab a battery. See, I've got to take these batteries and find a way to get um, some kind of a connection on there to charge them. But I can solder on or weld on a lead. I'm not going to dismantle the pouches. It's convenient with the screw holes. But, you know, I've got to figure something out. Once I get the plan and the idea, it's definitely going to be good for my, my power wall, for my home off-grid solar power and I'm happy. I, it's, it's worth it for me to do the work because it's fun. For me, this is all fun. So a lot of people, um, Battery Hookup, by the way, also has good tested batteries with guarantees over there. So you might want to check that out if you don't want to do the work. They have massive batteries as well as these little ones. But I prefer the low price per kilowatt, 10 to $15 per kilowatt hour. I can't, can't beat that. The work is worth it to me for the savings. Um, for those of you, you who just want to slap together some 100 amp hour battery cells, 3.2 volts, 100 amp hours, they're dirt crazy cheap. Uh, don't forget DIY tube, all caps, DIY tube, save 5%. Well, check out the following video. I'm going to shut this video down and bring it to a close. The next video is going to be me charging these up and checking out their capacities and especially those uh 18650s i'm going to pop those in the chargers but that'll be another video so talk to you all later please do like this video leave a comment below check out battery hookup save yourself some money till next time